A lot of times we do trailers for movies. But what if it's a movie that is being remade into a TV show? <laughs> can't, can't even get because, through that with a straight face man, because they've just run out <laughs> they, they, Martin you don't you don't even know your words that you're saying right now man they yes really, I do like I said I saw the Rush Hour TV show oh it gets deeper though Martin I want to hear about that shit too but people you think they would have learned from as Martin said Rush Hour but uh, no no that was over on CBS Fox said well wait you know we ain't CBS we're doing a little something different right here and we're doing it on a franchise that everybody loves. And let's face it, the last couple of movies in that franchise, they didn't do so well. So it's ripe right now for a remake, even if it's on TV. Talking about Lethal Weapon. And this stars a newcomer that you haven't seen before and somebody that you haven't seen in a while, Damon Wayans. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Lethal Weapon TV show. Got a little bit of money behind it, and we'll tell you if we approve. What's that, huh? I was saying that's your buddy. Who's my buddy? No, no, Marlon no, Wayans is his no. buddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is his older brother. Yeah, his older no. brother that probably wants to beat my ass too. <laughs> Nigga, I don't know you. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at Lethal Weapon, the TV show. Meanwhile, the janitor was still in there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no! So, do you have any kids, Martin? I, I do not. But you're married. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Triple A plus rating, right? Here. This editing, this editing is amazing. But you're married, married, married. Like, well, why you gotta bring that shit up? <laughs> Flash. Just bring that shit up, man. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, control your woman, man. <laughs> if you ask me to change. Damn. Oh, Damn. Have you never seen Lethal Weapon? No. Oh, oh okay. Okay, all okay, right. okay, all right. I have to give you a pass, then. Not anymore. She passed away. Oh. I'm sorry, Martin. I don't like that. <laughs> Well, now we got that old. <laughs> Doom. <laughs> this is dangerous. Very. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, bullshit. You know what? Jordana Brewster's in it. So they figured, Fast like, hey, we got some, some Fast and the Furious mojo. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that who that was? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you sneaky fucks, you. You clever, clever. Stop. Tried to oh, shoot what we're gonna do? We're Stop. Gonna do. You were 50 years old, Murtaugh, and still only a detective. I like solving cases, not kissing ass. God damn, god damn, god damn it, god damn it. This, did we not, Martin? You saw the Rush Hour. You well, saw the Rush Hour here's show. Here's what I can tell you about the Rush Hour show. It has the exact same problems as this show right here. I'm oh, Carter. Oh. Carter? Detective Carter. Carter. Stop for a second. Can you just... <laughs> yes, sir. Go back to that scene. No, uh, one frame more. One frame more. Okay, all right. My name, or do you not understand a word I'm saying? Right there. Does the other cop even look Asian to you? No, that's what we said the last time. Yeah. He looks like our friend Antonio. He looks like a Mexican. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Antonio's from Panama, but he looks like him. No, I'm going to say a Mexican. <laughs> a I Mexican? Think, I think they couldn't. I'm going to say you. I think they couldn't find. Like they, like, they had an Asian dude, and he saw it. He's like, no, bullshit. I quit. And they went over to Home Depot and got this dude right there. So would that be called brown washing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Because this is shit. <laughs> I mean, brown you know, and, they, and Martin is funny because. The, you, I'm glad you caught it because they just canceled this shit. Yeah, they did. They did. And, and I was saying, like, they, like one network should just had both shows and they rotated them out every week. <laughs> <laughs> and you wouldn't tell the difference. And, and maybe even throw in a diehard TV show <laughs> with R Richard Grieco and starring as uh, Bruce Willis. Um, <laughs> but it's one of these things where, like, man, somebody must have had a kid that, or, or I mean, I'm sorry, not a kid, but just like whoever put these both these shows together 
read the back of the box of what the show was about <laughs> and never ever saw the movies because it's like, man, those movies, they weren't <clears throat> really about the cop drama. They were about the actors who were there. Like, it was about Jackie Chan doing Kung Fu and Chris Tucker, who was a comedian. It was about Mel Gibson, who was already a movie star at the time, yeah. just coming on being crazy, you know, playing off Mad Max, you know, his love of Three Stooges, throwing that in there. Yeah. And Shane Black's writing. That, that, yep. like, like, that's what those things were about. And, and you're just going like, well, you know what? We got a, we got a white cop and a black cop. We yep. got a black cop and an Asian cop. Uh, yeah, with that Rush Hour TV show, uh, that, the, the, the black guy here, I, I don't know his name. He doesn't have Chris Tucker's charisma, but he was actually not terrible. Like, when you go like, okay, I'm just looking at it as a show that's not connected to the movie. He was kind of amusing. Yeah. But the other cop, the, the fake Asian cop, <laughs> he, he had nothing. And his, his kung fu scenes, the editing was horrible on him. And it's like, man, you're, you're, you're only here to oppress us with fighting. And none of that's working. It was like the kind of '90s style of editing. This don't uh, even look like a show scenes. from the from this age. No, right no, here. no. It, it felt very nice. This should like look like something from the '90s. Like, yeah, like the early '90s. Like, like New York like, Undercover. Like, 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 yeah. Like, like, no, no, no. I'm talking about before that. Like, oh like, wow. Like, like Mike Hammer. Like like late '80s, early well, '90s. Well, you know something, and, and the reason why we're talking about the Rush Hour movie because, like Martin said, they got a uh, the show rather. They got a lot in common. But I feel I feel bad. I feel bad for. Uh, I'm talking about the black dude now, because that was my biggest complaint. I felt because I said, you know what, this this black dude just don't feel like he's uh he's into it. But then I look at uh I look at Damon Wayans in this, and I apologize, brother. Dead on arrival. Does it mean something different here? No. I just want to make sure there's no one else left for you to kill. He don't want to be here. He's garbage. He don't want to. He don't want to be there. And the guy playing Martin Riggs, Mel Gibson, who the fuck is he? You know, I like him. But you know what, Martin? What? <laughs> I'm going to defend my man right okay. here. That, that's a guy named Clay Crawford. Oh, and, oh, Clay Crawford? Shut oh, up, you ain't Martin. Tough. <laughs> Martin, shut up. I know what you're doing. Man, leave him alone. At least, he, man, he needs this shit. He's trying. You know what I'm saying? Because he has to. Because he has to. <laughs> he was the, oh, I like him. He was good in it. You I, know, it's just a shitty, it's a shitty trailer and probably a shitty show. Daniel, I beg you to watch the, the, the first Lethal Weapon. Movie. Martin, I get what you're saying, but this, my man right here, he's he's playing the... the, the, the I'll pay the, you to he's, watch He's it. playing the Mel Gibson role right here. Man, he's trying. You know, he, he's like, man, I need this shit. And it's too bad because this is some shit that is, I can tell you right now. I don't need no crystal ball for this. This is going to be canceled after about here's, three episodes. Because <laughs> here's the thing. Like, see, uh, Rush Hour was on CBS, and they let it go maybe like eight or nine episodes or so and canceled it. Mm -hmm. Fox. Oh, yeah. Don't fuck around. <laughs> oh, no. On, on Fox, if your show is not doing well by the third episode, don't. you will be gone. In Fox, yeah. And they, they don't even announce it. You just one day you turn it. <laughs> it's just not there no more. Fox, I'm going to tell you all something right now. They know this is bullshit. <laughs> they do. They know. They got a fucking sniper. On this show right now, ready to take it out mm -hmm. if the ratings go down. And how do I know? Because, well, first of all, Fox is, they, they got a trend going on. Mm -hmm. They're taking movies and they're making them shows. And Minority Report, they already capped that motherfucker, man. It's gone. <laughs> and right after that, Lethal Weapons ready to take its place. Now, you don't think that that's the case? They got themselves covered because once Lethal Weapons gone, and it will be. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. Oh, yeah, it's going to be gone right after that. This is a fucking shame. They got the exorcist. <laughs> I want you. That, that kid just raised up and bitch left. Shit, the power of my fucking fist compelled you. <laughs> nah, this is, you know, they got the same music and everything. I won't abandon you. Now, the thing about that is that they got Rupert Wyatt, who's directing that, and, if, and that's the pilot episode. If you don't know who Rupert Wyatt is, he did the uh, the Planet of the Apes movies. Oh, right. So people are saying, well, you know, oh, give, maybe. Give, give this a chance. It might work. You don't oh, know. Oh, shit, but it's on Fox. But it's on Fox. Fox don't give chances. No, Five Fox. minutes in, canceled. Oh, All right. <laughs> it's, it's weird, because when Fox first came on the scene, they were the network that gave shows a chance. Mm -hmm. They were like, look, we, we know we're new. People aren't watching, but just just give it a couple years oh. and let, let an audience build. Oh, yeah. But it, now. And and, and I it. tell you what, and this might not be, I don't even know if this is a show or not, but it's another remake. Once The Exorcist is gone, I say, oh, you know, that's okay. Got something else for that. Oh, Chanter. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture <laughs> The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah, because those shit. are like, it's, it's popular now. You know, they got one, uh, Scream, the TV show. Oh, yeah. And Teen Wolf. And Teen Wolf. 
not easy having a good time. God damn. You know, At least then, they got a real transsexual this time. No, no, no. <laughs> it's authentic this time. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's her name? Uh, Laverne, Laverne Cox. Cox. No, Laverne, Laverne Cox. And that's the big news about that. They say, well, she'll be the first transsexual uh, uh, actor or actress to play uh, a main role in a remake Plus, of something. Plus, it ain't like Rocky Horror Picture Show is a good movie. It's just a, a movie that people like to go see. And super campy. But, you, but see, Martin, thing. the thing is, the thing about all of these is that they're, they're not going for some shit that needs to be remade, something bad. You know, they're going for the things that have, that have uh, 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 you know, they, they got the, the moniker of classic to the well, wife. Th- that's the problem. Because, and that's the problem with that. But the reason why they're doing that is because they say, well, everybody knows that. Everybody knows Lethal Weapon. Everybody knows Mel Gibson and, uh, and Danny Glover in this. Damn, they look like an 80s uh, uh, pop band. Right there. Sure. <laughs> like, wham. Like, wham. <laughs> I was, was going to say air supply, but yeah. <laughs> I want a jitterbug. <laughs> <laughs> you got my bang bang boogie, <laughs> but that you know and that's what they're doing. They're picking these classic things. I was we just talked about Jaws yesterday, and I said, look, I don't want to be that pretentious film student guy, but there are some things you just leave alone because there's an authenticity that just can never mm-hmm. be replicated. Martin, when you were talking about Mel Gibson and his whole thing for the Three Stooges and. People were looking at him like he's crazy. You know, they, they brought uh, they brought personal things to that movie. Yeah. Here, these the reason why this is fucking gonna fail is because they're taking a classic and they're 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 mimicking this poorly. Bastardizing. They're bastardizing. All they're doing is taking a generic buddy cop, white cop, black cop, and just having these guys reenact yeah. parts of Lethal Weapon. And mm-hmm. they're gonna do that with every fucking thing that they're trying to remake right now. Yeah. I used to be like give it a chance. But now that I see the cash grab that's going on here, no, fuck this whole trend. But see, man, the problem is every so often they, they do try to do something actually cool. You know, with, with Hannibal. It was like, what are you yeah. going to do with that? And they, they did something really good with Hannibal. I know. They, even Bates Motel, they, they they worked that. I heard Scream's actually good. Yeah, yeah, no, I, um, I've watched them a Scream. It's actually funny. I know, I know. It I'm works. just mad looking at this. And we, we can even go back to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. You mm. know, there's a lot of things. The the, the real Ghostbusters, if you want to. Calm down. The real Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's the true story, Mark. <laughs> but, th- okay, you know what? Maybe I'm getting a little heated because I'm looking at this and I'm a little angry. But uh, they should be given a chance if, if there's something inspired there. Ain't nothing inspired about this no, shit right no, here. No, I uh, mean, uh, out of the three shows you just we just brought up, the one I think is going to be the most successful is Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Because that's the most campy and you can just fool around with it. That's yeah. a good point. Irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. But it's like, love- it's going to be like Glee probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the only, you know what really makes me mad? about seeing this is that there is a chance that it might work because of people like you sir because she said she was a fan of that mel gibson dude <laughs> yeah, and they hadn't seen lethal <laughs> weapon the whole trailer she's like oh, oh it's not no, the no, baby no. <laughs> nope i have to disagree i think that the white boy is really great but this wayne's guy is garbage <laughs> the who? killing it this wayne's boy <laughs> He's fucking the whole thing up. They should have hired somebody else. No, I, I give it to you. I give it. And so, what's yeah. the line going to be? Here's going to be. I'm getting too old with this crap. You know, they're not yeah. even able to do that's that. Why, that's yeah. why they can't even say his line. Yeah, I'm aging too fast for this nonsense. Like, yeah. <laughs> whenever they do the Die Hard TV series, which they will do, don't say that. They won't, they won't be able to. You say know it. that's coming, Kaye, motherfucker. Like even in like like the the, the fourth Die Hard movie, he doesn't even say it. Yeah. Yeah. Because they wanted to make it PG. They wouldn't even let him say his own catchphrase. You know what, Martin? But they fucked that series up enough that I say, just yeah. go ahead and take that. Why not that? You can only make it better at this point. Oh, well, when whoever gives a fuck about looking at this, it'll be on at some shit point. All right.